Hi guys, yes, I'm back with a gaming related video. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Uh, but yes, uh, big news in the world of gaming over the last week. I'm sure if you're a gamer, you'll have, you'll have seen it. Even if you're not a gamer, you probably would have seen it. So yes, just thought I'd talk about, talk about this in this video. So last week, Rockstar Games on their Twitter account, or X, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> account, uh, said... That to commemorate the big anniversary of GTA, yes, they will looking towards the future. The first official official trailer for GTA Six will be coming out in early December. Ooh! <laughs> and I think it became like the most liked tweet um, about gaming, gaming related in the history of Twitter. I think it got over like over like a hundred million, something like that. And crazy. Yes, the internet exploded, finally, finally, after 10 years of waiting, GTA 6 is on the way, it's uh, very exciting, so I'm just in this video, I'm going to talk about what I, what we know about GTA 6 so far, and just a little wish list uh, for what is to come, what I, what I would like to come in, in Grand Theft Auto 6. So before I get to Grand Theft Auto 6, uh, i got to mention 5, you know, it's a game that's very near and dear to me. I love it, you know, <laughs> I think it's got such a fun single-player campaign with the, with the three main characters, Trevor, Franklin, and Michael. I've done several, several playthroughs of GTA V the last 10 years on the 360, on my Xbox One. It's just such a great game, man. It's got such a good story. Uh, everything about it, I, lo I love it, man. I wasn't, a massive, I wasn't a massive fan of GTA Online, but I was mostly single-player myself, but I think it's just such a fun game. And it's aged so well. You know, it's a game that spanned three console generations, 360, Xbox One, and now it's on, you can get it on the Series X. It's quite incredible, man. Of course, we all know when it came out in 2013. It was one of the biggest game launches of all time. The biggest game launch of all time. Made well over a billion dollars. GTA Online went, went on to make what, even more than that. The game was just one of absolute massive success. And I think when GTA 6 comes out in a year or two, it's going to break even more records, isn't it? It's going it's gonna to be huge, man. Huge. And on another note, GTA 5 is pretty much the game which kicked off my channel. If you go all the way back to my, my, one of my very first videos, it was a GTA 5 review. Yes, I was, what, I was 19 years old, big floppy hair, <laughs> reviewing GTA 5. It was my very first in-person video on YouTube. Wow. And here I, here I am, um, nine years later. My God. Hmm. <laughs> so yes gca 6 now we do we did know it was coming for quite a few years you know there was that big leak last year some idiots leaked like game code or slight leaked footage of like rockstar working on the game it, i mean rockstar take two whatever you want to, uh, like worked really hard to get it off the internet as quickly as possible but some people did see some bits and we now know some things about the game before we see the trailer so we know the game is going to be set in Miami, uh, which I believe is GCA's with GCA is Vice City, and we already know that was a game so for many many years back, one of the most beloved GCA games. Yes, of course, GCA Vice City. Um, so is this going to be set in like a new, updated, remastered version of Vice City? We will see. Just like GCA Five was kind of like an updated, remastered version of GCA San Andreas uh, with a much bigger. Much more detailed map. Will it be the same version here? I'm very much looking forward to it. I'm expecting a huge map. You know, GCA 5 had a big map with Los Santos and Blaine County. But I'm expecting a big map, even bigger map here. I expect, I expect Vice City to be like twice the size of Los Santos. And I'm obviously expe I'm expecting big countryside regions. There'll be there'll be lakes. There'll be, there'll be the seaside. I'm expecting a really massive detailed map. I can't wait to see what it's going to look like, man. We know there will be two playable protagonist this time not three uh, it will be two a man and a woman i believe jason and lucia i think i'm, I'm, I'm wrong i think that's what they're gonna be called but that's not, not confirmed maybe just double check that but so uh, yeah interesting the first female pro playable protagonist in gta i believe you could play as one in the very first gta but that was like you know i, I can't remember the first gta it was completely 2d wasn't it so but yes the first proper gta i guess with a female protagonist and a male, with, with, alongside a male protagonist, should be very, very interesting. I assume just like GTA Five, you can swap between both of them. Obviously, both both of them will have their own missions separately, but they'll come together for other missions, like bank robberies, etc. You know, I'm expecting a big, 
long uh, single player campaign. Uh, GTA 5's campaign was what? 30 plus hours. And that's not including all the side missions you could do as, as Trevor, Franklin, and Michael. So I'm expecting a big, long, very detailed, very thorough single player campaign. You know, Rockstar uh, smashed that. You know, Red Dead Redemption 2's campaign was long detailed and just incredibly written i'm expecting very much the same from for gca 6's campaign i think the graphics are going to look absolutely incredible you know i mean you forget gta 5 was originally designed for the ps3 and xbox 360 and it just got remastered twice but this is going to look incredible because it's going to be it's going to run on a ready on a brand new game engine or updated game engine made for series x and ps5 it's going to look so good uh miami or vice city where it's going to be set i can't wait to see the graphics man i think it's gonna be so so good i'm expecting them to take gameplay mechanics from red dead redemption 2 bring it to gta 6 like that you can uh, put on weight you can sh shave you can change your hair i mean you could do that your hair grows and shit because that, that was in red dead redemption 2 but not gta 5 like a much more interactive world. I think we're going to see a lot of that. I'm expecting a very, very strongly written uh, supporting cast with, with Jason and Lucia. I can't wait to see who, who they're going to be because what will you say Rockstar makes makes great supporting casts. They did for Red Dead Redemption 2. They did for GCA 5. I wonder if any characters will be returning because in GCA 5, there were several cameos from GCA 4 characters. So I wonder if they'll do the same here. Maybe Trevor, Michael or Franklin will, will make cameos or appearances in some missions. Maybe some other side characters from GCA 5 will, will make an appearance in, in GCA 6. That'll be very exciting. Bring back Nico, my boy Nico from GCA 4. Come on, you can do it, Rockstar. So here's my little wish list for GCA 6. Like things I hope they, they bring in the game. We'll see. Obviously when the first trailer comes out and then obviously they start releasing information about the game towards release date uh, things i want them to bring um rockstar take two whatever please bring back single player dlc what expansions they, they 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 didn't do this for uh red dead redemption 2 didn't have any i think which sucked uh and gca 5 didn't have any their last one was gca 4 had two expansions uh the ballad of gay tony and the Lost and Damned Biker DLC, which I thought both of them were amazing DLCs, especially Ballad of Gay Tony with the, with the nightclubs. I, I loved it so much. You forget Red Dead Redemption 1 had the Undead Nightmare, which I think is widely regarded as one of the best DLC expansions ever made. It was so good. So it sucks that they, they just dropped it for GCA 5. I would have loved like a, a DLC doing some extra stuff with Michael, Franklin and Trevor, but we, we never got it. I know I know Michael and Les, like, um, Lester... And Franklin came back and cut scenes in GTA, GTA Online, but that's not the same for me. I never didn't play GTA Online. I didn't really like it. Um, so yeah, and when I read Dead Redemption Two, we, we, I would have loved to get some Charles or Sadie, Sadie DLC. We never got it. Red Dead Redemption Two would have been perfect, but no, because Rockstar's main attention, which I'm a, I'm a little bit worried for GTA Six in this regard, is their main attention was obviously GTA Online. Because that's the big cash cow. Yeah, they make they make a massive money on the launch, but to keep making money, they know GTA GTA Online and Red Dead Online as they're massive cash cows. They make huge amounts of money from that, from all the microtransactions on on both on both of those, and they know it'll be the same for GTA Six Online. Uh, and I just hope the single player doesn't uh, take a back lot back seat to that. I mean, we know we're going to get a great campaign. We know that. GTA 5 had a great campaign. Red Dead Redemption 2 had a legendary campaign. And I'm sure they'll, it'll be the same with GTA 6's campaign. But I just hope, well, I really, really hope we do get some single-player DLC. Maybe a few months, a year after the main story is really finished. Uh, after the main the main campaign. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, I'm not really going to play a lot of GTA Online. I wasn't, I wasn't a massive fan of it uh, for GTA 5 at all. Red Dead Online, really. I'm I'm much more of a single player kind of guy. Just just single player, for fully immerse myself in the story and the world. But we'll see and the characters. What else? Uh, I think GTA Five wasn't a massive fan of the stuff you could do in the open world. I thought it was a bit limited. Very much a a lack of building interiors. A lot of the sad, sad activities weren't that good. I thought the darts was a bit boring. The golf was a bit boring. Some of the racing was a bit boring. And I don't know. Well, the story was incredible. I think we need to better side content in GTA 5. And I hope, hope, hope GTA 6 excels in this. We get much more 
three side content to do outside of main missions and obviously the few side missions you can do as your characters. Uh, bring back bowling. I love bowling in GTA 4. It was so much fun. Bring back bowling, please, Rockstar. You can do it. Um, the nightclubs. Bring back the nightclubs from the GTA 4 DLC. I loved the nightclubs. We need. I've heard we're going to get. We're getting a lot more building interiors in GTA Six. That should be fun. And yeah, any any other things I want them to add? Um, no, really. I think they're just little things I'd like them to add. But obviously, the main thing is focus more on the single player, single player, and give us some DLCs uh, and some big character expansions, please, 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 because they didn't do it for GTA Five and Red Dead Two, like I said. Um, that's really it, guys. Is there, is there anything you want Rockstar at Take Two to put into GTA Six? Well, I know it's a bit like now nah, they're probably on doing the finishing touches to the game. It's probably still another year or year and a half to go to the release. But uh, yes, I'm very much looking forward to the release teaser trailer. Uh, in early December, it's gonna be it's gonna explode on YouTube, is it? It's I guarantee it's gonna get a hundred million views. Guarantee it's it's gonna make so much money. Uh, I can't wait to see what the first trailer is gonna look like. Um, when is it going to come out? I assume pff, probably at the very earliest, it's going to be late 2024, maybe, maybe early 2025, probably, uh, we'll see. So we've still got like another year to go, I think, but we know it is on the way. It's coming to an end. It's been like the, one of the longest waits for a video, video game sequel in years. You know, GTA 5 to GTA 6, 10, 11 years it's going to be when, when GTA 6 comes out. I know we had Red Dead Redemption 2 in 2018, which was a legendary game, but this is GTA, obviously a different, different, yeah, uh, completely different game, even though it's the same company, Rockstar. But yes, um, yeah, guys, what are you looking forward to most in GTA 6? Are you looking forward to GTA 6? Are you looking forward to the trailer in a few weeks' time? Comment below, let me know. Thank you all for watching, guys, and I'll see you all very, very soon.